Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. LVMH, including Louis Vuitton, right? LVMH, Dior, blah, 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 especially Dior, is put under court administration in Italy over labor exploitation. As reported by Business of Fashion, Reuters, I'm actually on Reuters right now, the Reuters article is very interesting and eye-opening. Can you believe this? This is really vile. <laughs> the end of luxury? Yeah, we're living it. Uh, let's let's get to this and analyze this sadness. Uh, first, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today. Gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Dacob all spelled together there as well for extra perks. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream several times a week. Come join the fun, come join the chats. Everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only, not rooted in truths or facts. Everything is alleged and just my opinion. Milan, June 11th, 2024, Reuters. An Italian subsidiary of French luxury giant LVMH that makes Dior branded handbags was placed under court administration on Monday. After a probe alleged it had subcontracted work to Chinese-owned firms that mistreated workers. This is the third such decision this year by the Milan court in charge of preemptive measures, which in April named a commissioner to run a company owned by Giorgio Armani. So Giorgio Armani is also uh, going through the motions. Due to accusations, the fashion group uh, was culpably, culpably failing to adequately oversee its suppliers. Armani Group said at the time it had always sought to minimize abuses in the supply chain. Armani saying it had sought to minimize abuses in the supply chain? Armani, why would you seek to minimize abuse? Wouldn't it'd be more correct to say you are seeking to stop them completely, not just minimizing them, because just minimizing something means it's still continuing, but just a little bit. We're just going to torture a couple of people instead of a lot. No, that doesn't make it any better. Mm, not whatsoever. The court said in a copy of Monday's decision, which was seen by Reuters, that prosecutors alleged that the violation of rules was not a one-off among fashion companies with manufacturing capacity in Italy, but systematic due to the need to pursue higher profits. It's not something sporadic that concerns single production lots, but a generalized and consolidated manufacturing method, the document said. The luxury industry supply chain has come under increased scrutiny by consumers and investors in recent years. To reduce reputation risks, fashion labels have curbed the number of subcontractors and internalized production instead, right? In a blow to Italy's leather goods industry, which is mostly based in Tuscany and comprises many firms founded by Chinese immigrants, the good old famous so-called sweatshops. Italy is home to thousands of small manufacturers that cover 50% to 55% of the global luxury goods production. The Milan court ordered manufacturers Dior SRL, fully owned by Christian Dior Italia SRL, be placed under judicial administration for one year. The document seen by Reuters showed the company will continue to operate during the period. The Dior investigation focused on four small suppliers employing 32 staff who worked in the surroundings of Milan, two of whom were immigrants in the, con in the country illegally, while another seven worked without the required documentation. You guys, wait till, you, till we get to the point where they tell us how much LVMH paid for every leather bag from Dior? Wait till we get in the article to the part where they tell us how much each bag actually costs.
and then how much Dior charges for it. These bags made by Chinese workers that don't get to sleep, don't get to eat, don't get to take a rest and are paid underneath minimum wage or not paid at all. Between March and April, Italian police carried out inspections at the suppliers named Pelletteria Elisabetta Young, SRL, New Leather Italy, SRLS, AZ Operations, SRLS, and Davide Albertario Milano, SRL, the document said. Pelletteria Elisabetta Young and Davide Albertario Milano were direct suppliers of manufacturers Dior. SRL. The document said, Pelletteria Elisabetta Young invoiced 752,881 euro, that's almost 1 million euro, to manufacturers Dior for the fiscal year 23-24. So we got the Chinese workers invoicing Dior almost a million euro. This is just one factory. David Albertario, the other factory, invoiced 737,623 euros for just 2024, almost a million there as well. These are all mostly leather bags. You can calculate how many leather bags they sold to Dior for this amount of money once you hear how much one of these bags costs Dior to pay. We're going to get to the money in a bit. The staff lived and worked in hygiene and health conditions that are below the minimum required by an ethical approach, it added. Representatives of LVMH had no comment. Quelle surprise. Shares in LVMH extended earlier losses on news of the court's decision on Monday and closed down 2.2%. They were down 0.7%. At 9.21 GMT time on Tuesday, against the flat blue chip index, Delphine Arnaud, whose family, the Dada, whose family controls a 42% stake in LVMH, is chair and CEO of Dior, LVMH's second largest fashion label. She is the eldest child of Bernard Arnaud, who runs the LVMH empire and is among the world's wealthiest people. And yet she does not really care to get the workers from the subcontractor to also be fairly paid. Why do you need subcontractors? Open up your own factory, you know? Ah, you don't want to be liable. You see, that's the sneaky loophole. They hire these subcontractors so that when they get caught, they're not liable. Dior is not liable. LVMH did nothing wrong. The subcontractor did something wrong, legally. And this is where I always say morals and law are two different things. In the 34-page ruling, the judges said the workers were made to sleep in the workplace in order to have manpower available 24 hours a day. Boy, really makes you feel good about your $3,000 luxury bag now, huh? Data mapping electricity consumption showed seamless day-night production cycles, including during the holidays. In addition, safety devices had been removed from the machinery. Safety devices have been removed from the machinery to allow them to operate faster, according to the document, at the detriment of the health, physical health of the workers, right? This allowed contractors to rein in costs and charge Dior as little as 53 euro a bag. Now calculate. They've invoiced Dior over 700,000 euro in a year. At 53 euro a bag, you do the math. How many bags did they sell to Dior in one year? The document said, citing as an example a Dior model coded PO312YKY, which the fashion house then retailed in shops at 2,600 euro. 
So a bag that Dior paid 53 euro for, that was manufactured in a factory where workers worked 24 hours a day, and where the machinery, for the most part, or in part, had the security measures turned off in order to speed up production. That bag that Dior bought for 53 euro, Dior then sold for 2,600 euro in their boutiques. The Dior unit did not adopt appropriate measures to check the actual working conditions or the technical capabilities of the contracting companies, failing to carry out periodic audits of its suppliers over the years, it added. The owners of the contracting and subcontracting companies are under investigation by Milan prosecutors for exploiting workers and employing people off the books, while Dior itself faces no criminal probe. The Armani investigation also unveiled that suppliers of the Italian brand included Chinese-owned manufacturers in Italy that violated worker protection laws. And so, <laughs> this, you know, I mean, we knew, we knew, uh, documentaries were made about this, uh, people have been secretly filming uh, in both in Florence and outside of Florence and outside of Milan, the sweatshops. The documentation is out there if you want to see it, you know. But now that it's kind of stepped up a notch and the Italian court steps in and takes over Dior for an entire year and they're going to be controlling everything that's happening, it's like the shit has hit the fan. The shit has hit the fan. And, 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 this, and, this, and what does this all mean? You know how people that analyze economy, the economists out there that say, hey... Billionaires cannot possibly be billionaires and be morally and legally and ethically clean-handed. Many economists out there are going to tell you, if that person is a billionaire, they had to walk over dead bodies to become a billionaire, and they were glad to do so. There's no way that you can become a billionaire without doing major shady stuff, allegedly. That's how they became millionaires, allegedly. So now Bernard Arnault, who's a billionaire, one of the, if not the richest man in Europe, did he become a billionaire clean-handed? What we're seeing now happening with Dior, he didn't, allegedly. But Dior is not being scrutinized for having done anything wrong because they have a legal loophole. Dior hired a company that made the bags for them. That company is having legal repercussions because that company mistreated their workers, not Dior. So Dior gets to, to get out clean out of this, but they shouldn't, in my opinion, because they knew they were hiring somebody to save money. They were hiring these subcontractors in order to maximize their profits. So, you know, Dior can play, LVMH can play as dumb as they want to now, like, oh, we didn't know. Please, you didn't know. Sure. Sure. But if the lawyers have no proof, then they have no proof. What are you going to do? You can't do it. You can't touch them. They're untouchable. They're untouchable. And that's how this is news today. Everybody's going to forget about it tomorrow. And the cycle is going to continue and continue. And pff. We're living in a very shitty world, you guys. <laughs> where money is king. 
and money dictates the rules. So, in order to make money, in order for you to be happy and make a ton of money, most luckily a ton of other people have to be very unhappy in order for one person to be very happy with a lot of money. That's just, that's the world we live in. What a great world, huh? BB says, morally they are not clean. Legally they might be clean, but morally they are not clean. Well, morals, schmorals, you know what I mean? Yeah. How can these people sleep at night? Have a peaceful sleep at night. I really, I don't know. I don't know if you have to be a sociopath, a narcissist, an egotist. I don't know what, what I'm asking here. What do you need to be at? What level of, like, why do you need to, who wants so much? Who wants so much? I don't think a, a mentally sane person wants so much. Just my opinion. Actually, I don't get it. Anyway, let me know your thoughts and prayers down below. This is just a travesty. Uh, until next time, uh, you know, never forget to never give up on love. Let me know your thoughts and prayers down below. Thumb up the video if you liked it. And subscribe. Bye.